what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a sunny day here and yep the camaro is back up from the back we'll explain all of that in today's that is loud Now, before we get into today's video, guys, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to each and every one of you guys that support the channel. You guys know who you are, the Speed Squadron. Thank you guys for always liking the videos and being subscribers. If you'd like to join the Speed Squadron, super simple. All I ask is you give this video a thumbs up. You consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the videos that we have here on the channel. But without further ado, guys, why is the ZL1 back up in the air from the back? Well, we had a couple technical difficulties with the aux pump from last video. And the biggest one being that our fitting that you see up there actually was leaking. So we've gone ahead and last night I did go ahead and redo that fitting, made sure everything was clean and added just the right amount of thread sealant um apparently you don't need to use a ton of it uh it really only needs to have enough around the threads and that's kind of what i did here and it's good to go um made sure it's threaded in about 80 percent of the way and it's all said and done but if you look way down there there's some more stuff going on now down here in the bottom is where of course the fuel pump is and before i saw that it was leaking from the back of the fitting i did take the car to get some fuel and so there is about e50 in here and i did some testing i did some pulls just to see with the data log making sure that we were seeing the right fuel pressure no drop in anything like that and we kept dropping fuel pressure. Came back, ended up checking all the harness, making sure my ground power, everything was good to go there. And with the DSX, it's got a priming function or a test function. And when I would press it, the pump wouldn't run. So I ended up basically determining that the pump was bad. So huge shout out to the guys over at DSX. They were able to get me a overnighted pump this is a gsl 392 pump which is been the pump that they've used for a long time but the one that came in the kit is the newest walboro 396 pump which is supposed to be stronger and flow a lot more but for some reason they've actually been having some issues with them so I'm not the first one to call and say that their pump arrived dead on arrival, but let's go ahead. We'll swap out that fuel pump and put it back in and test it, make sure it works properly. If it does, we'll put everything back up, cover everything. We'll bring the car down and test it. Hopefully that aux pump works because if it does and testing shows that we are good to go with our fuel, then this is what we've got to work with afterwards, guys. This is the Rotofab bell mouth that Brett over at Prey Performance has designed and should give us another about five to 10% more airflow for those track runs. So looking very excited to test this out. It is, does require a new tune. So hopefully we can get that dialed in today. We've got our assembly here. And as you can see, this is a GSL 396 pump. Now we do have to remove the DSX fuel filter and the end here, um, and then swap that over to the new 392 pump. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, so everything is back in here. So now I'm gonna drop the car, going to go ahead and raise it up from the front so the kind of fuel goes back a little bit that'll help us identify if it's going to be leaking or not from the back while also allowing the pump to prime and get some fuel in the system and basically test to make sure that that pump works properly okay so we've lifted it from the front so now if you look at it 
the car is basically leveled and we do have about two gallons in here and when looking down at the fitting it is nice and dry still which is perfect that's exactly what we want so now we're gonna put the car in accessory mode and here I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell with the Sun but this controller comes with a green light a red LED a green LED and then this button which is supposed to be like your priming button and when you put the car turn it on or put it in accessory mode you'll see the green light turn on when the blue lights on that means it's supposed to be running um, and sometimes if the blue lights on and the red light is on then the red light means that something is wrong whether over voltage over current or whatever the case may be it's going to be kind of hard to tell but the led light is on and so when we press this button we should see and hear the pump running down here there you go awesome so that is good to go guys so let's go ahead and uh, bring this thing back down and probably go put a little bit of a 93 in it maybe a gallon or two just to get it to go above that fitting to ensure that's not leaking and go from there okay so i went inside i put the car back up in an incline so the fuel comes back and checked under the fitting and it was good to go still not leaking which is a good sign okay so we pumped in two gallons and now we check under the car and you can see it actually is still dry guys so yes that is good that is what we want to see we want to make sure that that is what's going on uh, thank you so we've got enough fuel in there we're at 4.4 gallons of fuel which is more than enough to get over that little bump there and we're still dry which is a good thing so now we'll hook up the laptop and go do a couple hits we're down to about 35 percent e um so uh yeah it's uh going pretty good 35 now so that two gallons went from e50 to about we only had two gallons left so it's gonna come, maybe come down to e30 but we'll see what it does um we're gonna go ahead and do a couple pulls and just see where the pressures end up at okay first pull there uh, I think it took a minute for the pump to prime and it was pumping some air into the line or something because it kind of felt a little off but uh, then it like after a split second it really started pumping so um, we'll go ahead and do it one more time here that was much better much smoother actually didn't have any hesitations on that um, so yeah definitely probably had a little bit of a uh, air in the pump which means that priming feature is going to be very important guys especially if you're going to be at the track you want to go ahead and probably before you go to your first run or something prime that system i went ahead and i actually pumped some more e85 into this thing so we are now at e53 almost it's e something did the data logs and we are golden guys the low side pressure is staying strong so everything is working there the only thing we did was now that we have a much better low side pressure guys our afrs are actually running quite rich so i went ahead and i adjusted um got rid of a little bit of fuel to kind of get it back up into our 12 -0 range so kind of doing that iteration didn't want to bore you guys with that stuff but i think we're good to go there so now now that we know that's good i checked under the car no leaks everything we are good to go the car is running pretty good it likes the extra e content so let's get back home and put that bell mouth on put that new tune and go do a couple hits it is time to try out our bell mouth from prey performance so i'm gonna go ahead and get that swap it out i've already loaded the tune 
and the tune basically just gives it more fuel to start off which is what we need because you're gonna have more air check this piece out it is solid it takes a little getting fitted in there but it's perfect because i mean you don't really it comes with a piece for you to put like a set screw so it doesn't walk out but this is not going anywhere it's nice and snug in there and it does have a little kind of flat end here and that's because that's for the hood clearance so you guys can see it's just right there so gotta make sure that piece is up but other than that everything else is good to go it's just sucking all the air let's see if we can hear a little bit of the wine crazy and you can definitely hear that whine of the blower guys check this out video and i'll catch you guys in the next